family of a six-year-old boy who died after being brutally beaten with a bat baseball bat is now speaking out. NBC Connecticut's Brissette Alonda Verity has more on their call for justice. The family of six-year-old Jathan Escobar gathered outside a Bridgeport courtroom Thursday morning, all wearing the same sweater, honoring the life taken too soon. It doesn't seem real. It's just like a horrible dream we're waiting to wake up from. Jathan was taken off life support last week. Police say the six-year-old, his four-year-old brother and mother were allegedly beaten with a baseball bat by their family member, Abdul Rahim Suleiman. It's just hard. It's really hard. And now he just has a younger brother that's on his own. In court previously, we learned Suleiman had a lengthy record involving assault. The family of Jathan says they were aware of abusive behavior. The kids even mentioned that he was abusive. The family is now left with so many questions, wondering why the 38-year-old did not get the resources he needed. Obviously, didn't get the help this man needs, so now my nephew is no longer with us. Suleiman appeared before a judge today wearing a safety veil over his head because he formally assaulted a court-martial. He is facing a slew of charges, including murder with special circumstances. I don't have hate towards him, but it's disgusting what he did, and I do hope and pray that he pays for what he did to my nephew. The family says Jathan was a very happy child that will be missed. It shouldn't have never happened to begin with. For NBC Connecticut News, I'm Brissette Alanda Verde. And Suleiman's court appearance today was a quick one. He is due back in court October 23rd.